Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Baby shark do 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 baby shark do 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 baby shark do 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 baby shark Daddy shark do 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 daddy shark do 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 daddy shark This is on YouTube as well. I can hear you. What's up everybody? We are live. Look what we got. We got a new toy. That's right. We got the NZXT H1 V2 and the NZXT H1 V1, right? So uh, we're gonna be playing along. We're gonna be playing along and uh, we're gonna basically build in this, do thermals in this, and we're gonna play some Cyberpunk just to see how it goes. But we got all that all set up for today's stream. But I wanna say thank you everybody for showing up today. What's going on? It's good to see you. Yeah, not great, Bob. Yeah, not great. Shh, everybody's like, said, can I get a PC? No, you cannot. But yeah, it's been fun. This is the one that we fought, we had for sale for a long time. You know what, I'm actually, you know, it's funny, now that I'm looking back on it, I'm really glad that this didn't get sold until uh, it got sold yesterday, which is funny. So somebody did buy this yesterday. But the funny thing is, I was like, hey, you know, it's actually really good that we didn't sell it because it's sitting right here and now we can compare the two. Now we do have another NZXT H1 that we use that is white. But I was like, that one actually gets used by my team. So I was like, oh, cool. Here we can actually compare the two and all that sort of stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, and so it's just actually pretty rad as well. What is going on, everybody? Let's talk about giveaways. It is a Tuesday edition. We usually do not stream on Tuesday. So for us to get to stream today is actually a real treat. But hey, I can't control when PC cases and so sometimes it's like NZXT has been such an awesome partner and I was actually really excited to get to cover um, this case and do a live build, which is nice. It's Taco Tuesday as well, right? We got everything. Taco Tuesday, new case Tuesday, everything Tuesday. Yeah, let's make Tuesday magical. Okay, so let's talk about the giveaways that are happening today. We got the usual. We got the usual. Who's excited for the usual? There's nothing wrong with, with routine. So first and foremost, we got, if we get two level five hype trains, then we'll give away a 250 gig NVMe SSD. So two level five hype trains, 250 gig NVMe SSD. If we give away, if we get to 500 likes over on the YouTube, over at youtube.com slash Robitech for this NZXT V1, uh, NZXT H1 V2 uh, stream, then we will also give away a 250 gig NVMe SSD. And then lastly, uh, down there in the corner, it says one of 50 right now. You see it down there, it says one of 50. If we get to 50 subs, it becomes a $50 new gift card. 100 subs, $100 new gift card. 150 subs, $150 new gift card. But then it changes because then it becomes a 12, 400 and then a 50, a 12, 600 K and then a 30, 60, uh, sorry, 30, 50, then a 30, 60. So the more the subs, the bigger the giveaways and all of those get to go out and all that sort of stuff. And I've been watching uh, folks been getting their NVMe drives, people have been getting their GPUs. So I'm super excited uh, for everybody who's been getting their prizes, which is pretty cool. Lastly, lastly, we have a 3080 we're giving away for the month of February. Now I do want to give you a heads up. Uh, for the last week of February, I'm mostly gone. I'm actually gonna do, it's midwinter break for my family. We're taking them down to Disneyland. So I will be out of town. So there's actually not a huge number of, of streams for you to get in on if you do wanna win in 3080. Now, if, you're, if you wanna get in on that, you're like, Roby, how do I win an RTX 3080? That sounds awesome. Well, cool, I'm glad you're excited. Uh, head on over to twitch.tv slash robytech. Drop your free Amazon Prime subscription. So you drop your Prime sub, you're in. Now, if you've already gotten a gifted sub, you can use your Prime sub to double your chances. That's right, because you can get extra entries. Now, the cool thing about it is that uh, the guy who won in July uh, won off of a single Amazon Prime sub. So any, like even a chance is a good thing, and you never know with the way things work. Now, if you want to get extra entries, you can do like just like what Tuner did right now. Tuner, he, uh, he dropped five gifted subs, which means he's got five additional entries in on that RTX 3080. Now you can also do things like subscribe at tier two, that gets you five extra entries, and tier three gets you 10 extra entries, respectively. So all that stuff is happening, and good stuff uh, as well. I also wanna let you guys know we have a new giveaway that we've been happening. I know I was gonna announce those today, but we have been so busy uh, getting ready for the benchmarking stuff, we didn't get a chance to go through and notify the winners. But uh, look for your email in the next couple days if you uh, put a comment on last week's, any of last week's YouTube streams. Uh, we are choosing one comment from every one of those, and that person wins $25, and that's open worldwide. As long as you get PayPal and Venmo, you're good to go. You just need to make sure you have a way for you to contact you via the YouTube profile, and you actually have to be able to like and subscribe. So you have to be liked and subscribed, and at the same time, you have to have us away. And then you can win $25 cold hard cash. All you gotta do is leave a quality comment, uh, some sort of feedback. Can't be, can I have a free PC? Can I have free hardware? Can I have a GPU? It has to be something just about the stream. It could be good or bad. This is how we 
grow and make things better. So continue to leave those comments. We got like 60 something comments yesterday. So love getting those comments and feedback. That's how we basically make the show better. So, um, if you are over at twitch.tv slash new again, you're like, hey, Roby, where's all the, where's, what's going on? Like, why can't I subscribe or anything? Yes, I subscribe to multiple channels. I stream to multiple channels. Facebook.com slash Roby Tech. Twitch.tv slash new Twitch.tv slash Roby Tech. YouTube.com slash Roby Tech. And so, uh, I am talking and I can see all of the chats <coughs> at the same time. So, I can see uh, YouTube. I can see Twitch. I can see all of those. <coughs> and that's how it goes. So, uh, I am looking, oh, Tuner, wait, are you in? Are you the Mod Monday person? Whoa, I, you know, usually, so Tuner, I usually don't get to find out until like the day before. So, hey, I get a big announcement, guys. I'm gonna be doing uh, Mod Monday on Monday with Tuner. So Tuner's gonna be hanging out and uh, we're gonna be building a PC, uh, assuming a 12th gen, which is gonna be awesome. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. Welcome, Tuner. Thanks for tuning in. I'll have to tune into you as well. So yeah, we're gonna be building a PC for Tuner. Uh, you should be able to fix the 3090 Strix in the V. Apparently you should be able to fit Yes or Chaos, but it only has a 750 watt PSU. And in fact, I don't think, I think C-Sonic and may, or may, you may know this, but I think C-Sonic's the only one who's got a thousand watt PSU. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure, um, but there aren't a lot of a thousand watt SFF PSUs, but this one comes with 750. Now, some people are saying, so let's, let's talk about this here in a minute, but let's Kick off hype train. Come on, guys. We got IMKC has already done his sub. Tuner's already getting his sub, so we can kick it off. We only need like one or two more things. Let's get this level five hype train out of the way. Then we'll start walking through parts, talking about the difference between these cases. And uh, yeah, are the G words, are the giveaway open? Some of them are, some of them aren't, GG. Wish I could build a PC with Justin or stream sounds fun. Thank you. I, 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 think, I, I, I think it's fun too. I think people enjoy it. So take me down, take them down expo, drop in one month. One more thing, guys, one more, and we basically uh, unlock that uh, hype train. And so let's see how far we can get. And there it is. Hype train has started. I don't know why it started. Somebody started it, but it started. So it's done. Now let's get to level five so then we can talk about parts, talk about differences. I know a couple people are really excited to know more about this build. Excited to build. I can't wait for the thoughts on the V2. Andy. Oh, Andy's here. Guys, Andy is here. Uh, so for those of you who don't know, Andy Johnson hanging out over on YouTube. Uh, he is head of PR, or is PR, maybe maybe he's head of the world. He's head of PR world, but he's head of, uh, he's a PR contact I work with over at NZXT. I don't wanna give him his, I don't wanna, I don't wanna hype him up too much, but awesome dude, uh, love hanging out with him, huge supporter of the channel. Um, and so uh, he is hanging out over on YouTube. So if you have questions or uh, anything like that, uh, he is there, Andy Johnson, and so there he is. So cool, thanks for hanging, Andy. Daily Biz, I sub, my first time doing this. Well, thank you, Daily, welcome. And he's here. He didn't come. He's already here. So, uh, are the PC parts open? Are the PC part ones open worldwide? No, unfortunately, they are not. Uh, okay, guys, three minutes and fifty-eight seconds. God, we guys, we tried so hard to ship NVMEs and stuff all over the world, but it just got complicated. So, yeah. Um, hey, Andy, what is your title? Are you Lord of PR? Are you are you Fleet Commander of PR? I don't remember what your your title is. <clears throat> I'm celebrating my 29th, 20th anniversary of my 20th birthday. I don't, I'm celebrating the 29th, the 20th anniversary of my 29th birthday. Scott, I don't, I can't do that math in my head. I have no idea what you did. Silverstone has a 1000 watt SFX, but not the person to talk about SFF. That's right, Or Chaos only builds inside of Dyson Spheres. That's what's going on there, Lord of PR. Okay, there you go, that's, that's, that's his official title, Lord of PR. Okay guys, three minutes left. Let's get this hype train going and going for that. I'm still waiting on my, Mr. Houston, when did you win it? Because uh, they, they, it, takes, it takes a while for us to get them all out. They go out pretty much weekly, but uh, they don't, they're, they're uh, I think it's like a 60 day lead time. Next year you will be over the hill, but over the hill isn't that like 19? Come on guys, two minutes and 50 seconds, let's get it going. I would hate to make like Lord of PR not see the awesome that is my community. Okay, so not, yeah, we're 19. There we go, moist, <laughs> man, that word, moist pork chop. Moist pork chop, thank you. There it is, taking us to level three. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh man, thank you, moist pork, pork chop. Man, there's something about the word moist. Uh, you know what I mean? Mm, yeah, be, I like pork chops. I don't know about, yeah. I mean, do, do, to be clear, Pork chops that are moist are very delicious. 
Yeah, there is Matt Scott's Scott's uh, Scott's triggered right there. Daily Biz dropping his pro, his sub. Kalik sixty four. Nineteen months. Nineteen months. Kristen McHale five gifted subs. There it is right there, taking us to a whopping seventeen, and that should take us to level four. Loso one seventy fourth. Uh, is that like a is that a military designation? Sounds like a good name. Uh, Loso one forty. But I like uh, yeah. Thank you, Kalik, uh, and then uh, also uh, everybody else. Othiel616, one month at tier one. Hi from Bangladesh. Hello to you as well. Hi from the UK, Chrissy. How are you? Hello from Illinois. I don't know which one's farther, Illinois or Bangladesh. It doesn't it go like, doesn't it go like Seattle, Portland, Bangladesh, New York, France, and then Illinois? I think Illinois is actually the furthest. Um, <clears throat> What have you, House of Tom? Hey, you know what? He's been enjoying life. That's what he's been doing. He's been enjoying being a part of this community. Tom, don't, don't, don't go, don't go crazy. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, okay, level four hype train. Four minutes left. We can finish this out, guys. How is the supply of GPUs for the build? For the build, um, they've actually been getting easier. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be quite frank. Um, like we actually had one. We needed a 3080, 3080, uh, 12 gig. Uh, for an upcoming build and literally we're able to secure it in a couple days. So it used to get, it used to get, um, uh, it used to be a lot harder, but it's actually been okay. But I have a pretty big team of people who helped me get it. Hello from Ireland. Hi, look at the Irish. Hi, hello. And then we got, uh, uh, we have, uh, we got Kilinita from Germany. Hello, hello from Germany. Vel welcome, uh, Vilnius, no, sorry, no, that's Russian. Susunga kanatubus nastas naina, eh? So. That's a cool looking case, it is. This is the NZXTH one. We're gonna talk about it here in a minute. As soon as we finish this little, this little, bit, of, uh, this little bit of housekeeping, which always happens. They always like to keep it on the thing. Hello from Texas. Well, howdy, partner. It's good to see you too, Mr. Unknown. Thank you for coming in today. It's actually where I was born, it's Texas. So yeah, thank you for, uh, thank you for popping in. <clears throat> Hello from Poland. I can't do the Polish accent, but I do like Polish sausage. So, bonjour. Uh, uh, so there we go, a little, little French there for you. So uh, anybody in Disneyland, I can do some Mickey too. <laughs> Everybody loves that. Hello from Hawaii, Billy Passalo. I used to live in Hawaii. I lived on Hickam Air Force Base in Hawaii, which is cool. Two minutes, 40 seconds left, guys. Towering Inferno, that's, um, that's, isn't that a song with Bella Porch in it? Hello from Las Vegas, viva Las Vegas. No, nobody's alive in Detroit, Tom, don't lie. Isn't Detroit, didn't Detroit get blown up? Didn't they all kill themselves? I don't think Detroit, I don't think anybody's there. Hello from New Jersey. Leslie, I have a joke. Please don't get mad. Uh, all right, let's get the hype train done. Hello from Costa Rica, Tamarindo Beach. I love Costa Rica, it's beautiful. From uh, Connecticut, looks like Connecticut, or Cor is, yeah, I think Connecticut. Okay, why hasn't California, why hasn't California fallen off of America yet? Why hasn't, why hasn't California fallen off the US yet? I'm just curious. Why isn't California falling up the U.S.? Because New Jersey sucks so bad. Uh, allo. Uh, yeah, allo. Um, oh, that's nice. Oh, Tuna lived there too. Okay. We, we got something in common. We got stuff to talk about. Missouri, that's where my father is from. Idaho Falls. Look at all the people from all these different places. Okay, somebody asked, can we do it? Hello, everybody. Welcome. Today, we're going to be talking about the NZXT H1. Pluto loves this case, and he is so excited because today we're going to build in this one instead, and it's going to be amazing. I'm so excited. Oh, boy. <laughs> um, okay, one minute and 24 seconds left, guys. Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We got somebody from England. Hello. Hello, chap. Good to see you. Oh, so good to have you here. <clears throat> okay, Vicar of Mayhem, dropping his five gifted subs, taking us to 24. <laughs> I'm glad you guys enjoyed that. Mo Power. Look at all the people from Illinois. We got a lot of people from Illinois. Oh, uh, Chrissy, you're gonna like this one. Christine dropping another five gifted subs. You guys take care of me. Look at that. It's like special. Oh boy. You guys, I love you. You make the best community. Mickey's proud. Right, Pluto? <laughs> okay. Romeo, is that really a place? Okay, 47%, four minutes and 26 seconds. Can I? Ah, uh, Mickey. I, you know what? I can work on Mickey. I haven't even tried that one. I haven't even tried Zayden. Springfield. Wow, we got a lot of people. Who, who, raise your hand if you're from Illinois. 
Can you do, can I, uh, look at the Irish. Can I do, can I do an Irish accent? I can, I think this is Scottish. I can do Scottish, I can throw a caber. But can I do Irish? I, I don't think I can do Irish. I can do Scottish. Ah, uh, Vilnius Nastavlik. Das Vidanya. Praying I'm good, terminated. Uh, <laughs> maybe I just don't have to do anything. Uh, okay guys, 93%. Can I do Gaelic? <laughs> Oh man, okay. Look at all these people from Illinois. I'm Irish and Scottish descent. Okay guys, we are like, we have three minutes and we're at 7%. Do you give away, do you give CPU giveaways? Yes, we do. If we get to 200 subs, we will. Uh, Christopher Walken, I could do. Uh, I, I'm gonna have to work on that one. Uh, but yes, I can do Christopher Walken. Uh, just not off the top of my head. You gotta be, uh, you gotta be, yeah, now I'm screwing it up, but yeah. <clears throat> I'm from Can California, transplant to Missouri, then, then moved to Illinois. Man, you're from like everywhere. 3%? I'm two states east from Illinois. You're in Hawaii, Scott? Frosted Lucky Charms. Hello from, it's 98. You guys are just teasing me. Are you gonna be building this PC on stream? Yes, we are. We're gonna be build a whole PC. Uh, Blondie is from North Dakota. Oh, that's, that's not, I was way off. <laughs> Hello from, pa Tipsy Momo, there it is. Tipsy's like, we done. We done with this, Roby. We done with this. We're done. I can neither confirm or deny there are nuclear weapons in North Dakota, but Blondie can, she lives in one. And she she swats down all of the drones that try to, to bust into there. Yeah, so, okay, there it is, 107%. Okay, so let's talk about, okay, we've done it, we, we've got it, we're, we're doing it. I'll let, if you guys get more, we're 15 away from the first tier, um, and we'll go from there. So this is the NZXT H1 versus the NZXT H2, and you'll notice something right away. This one is smaller than this one. This is, uh, this is a nice, compact, and uh, this one, a little bit bigger but does not mean that this is not awesome. It is very special and it's nice to search, but this one, this one actually is awesome. Okay, so a couple things about, a couple differences. So let's go ahead and we'll pop these apart and we'll talk about the differences so you guys can see this real quick. Here we go. So here, we'll get this out. We got one that's got a build in it and one that does not. So this one has a build in it already. This is not for a client, this is just for a case review. So this is the NZXT H1V1. And I love how easy this is. So this is the NZXT H1V1. Now, a couple things that you'll notice is this one has a 3060 in it, a 10700K. And then this is the V2. Now, first thing worth mentioning, and you'll notice right here is look at the size of the holes. The holes in this one are much bigger than the holes in this one. So they've added a lot. Big thing for them on this one has been airflow. They wanna make airflow for this a whole lot better. So if we go to the top down, you can actually see that the holes on this are actually quite a bit bigger, not to mention the size, but there's just a lot of more breathability in terms of what you can essentially do in this case uh, versus what you can do in this case. The other thing too, from a cooling perspective, and you'll notice here, oh wait, I need to take the glass off. I'm like, why is this not coming apart? So again, same toolless design. So some of the things that we all loved about the case are still the same, but the toolless design is pretty cool. So here we go. A couple of other things that you'll notice about this is, the other thing too is that this is wider by actually quite a bit. And the other thing too that they've also included is you'll actually notice that there's a 92 millimeter fan back here. So this is specifically to improve airflow for the GPU. Uh, the other thing too is that uh, they've also added is that there is a lot more room. So you'll see here, we have the equivalent of a RTX, uh, this is a EVGA XC3060, I think is what's in this one. And you can see here, we've actually got a lot more depth. You can actually put a triple slot card inside of this now. So you could put like, we're gonna be putting an EVGA 3070 Ti for the Win 3 in this, uh, versus that wasn't even a possibility uh, inside of the uh, NZXT, the first version of the H1. The other thing too is this includes a 750 watt power supply versus 650 watts. I think it's 650 watts, this might be 600 watts. 750 watt power supply. The other thing too is this also includes a PCIe Gen 4 Razer. 
While this does not catch on fire anymore because they've done a ton of improvements to ensure that, this has been a completely redesigned from the ground up uh, PCIe Gen 4 Razor, uh, sorry, riser cable, uh, so that way you don't have those potential fire issues. So. Uh, some big, pretty big differences in terms of just size and then airflow. Now, the, the things that we're gonna put inside of this build today. So again, this build, we could pretty much max out. I mean, this is pretty close to maxing out. You could put a, a 30, a, I mean, you could put a, a th potentially a 3060, a 3060 Ti, but without replacing the power supply, you're pretty limited in terms of what you could put inside of this case. In this one, you can put a th uh, anything up to 750 watts, which means 3070, 3070 Ti. So, and the other thing too is that they did test this with a 12900K. Now this has 140 millimeter AIO in it. Uh, we're gonna be testing it with a 12700K. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna build in this. We're gonna then thermal test it. And then we're actually gonna show you some gameplay with the build that we're gonna put inside of this. So quite a big upgrade in terms of uh, jumping from this to this. The other thing too is that we also get more USB-C connectivity. We get USB-C and you get that jack as well. So you can even see a little bit better just connectivity in terms of uh, the top there um, as well. So um, the build itself, this is pretty much like, and so these are some of my favorite cases to build in. And if you ever wanna build an SFF, power, an SFF build, this and the NZX, uh, sorry, this and the um, uh, Cooler Master in our 200P Max are pretty much the easiest PCs to build in. They're basically full-blown kits. They've got almost everything just included with them. And then everything's just pre-routed where it is. So this is like the Duplo of, of SFF builds. Um, and so, uh, you know, it's all in all in terms of, you're gonna see us putting this together, very, very simple. And the other thing too is they've done a lot of things like tagging and things like this to include that as well. Uh, the other thing that this includes that this does not include is this actually has a full fan controller inside of it that works with cam. So it even rem it actually even removes some of the uh, additional connectivity because all you really have to connect to the motherboard is the USB uh, power and then your Gen 4 riser. That's absolutely it. And you'll be seeing this full build here uh, pretty quick. So uh, questions that I want to see, because I know I just went through a bunch of information, but I'm going to see, did we get questions? We finished it out. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, yeah, and so people were talking about the original H1 that has since been fixed, hardcore. If you bought an NZXT H1 after that, after that whole thing, uh, you have zero issues whatsoever because they fixed that riser cable issue. So that hasn't been a thing. RGB lights in it. Um, there are no RGB lights in it. In fact, the way the tempered glass fits, you can't really see a whole lot. It is nice that they have the tempered glass, but there isn't a ton to see inside of the case because again, for airflow, they wanna make sure that both the AIO, which sits here, and then the GPU, which sits here, um, against the mesh panels, get the most airflow. Um, so yeah. So yeah, how much for the case? That's a great question. So this case is $399. Um, and you might be saying, wow, Roby, that's really expensive. Ah, but we did the math. We did the math, we got the math right here. You're like, Roby, why is it so much? Why is it so pricey? Well, here's the deal, guys. If you think about costing for this, because this includes, this includes the, uh, this includes a PCIe Gen 4 riser cable, 750 watt PSU, 140 millimeter AIO. Uh, so if you were to buy the 750 watt PSU, let's say we're buying the EVGA uh, gold 750 watt, uh, the, the sale price, we're gonna use sale price, um, we'll say it would be um, $200, uh, sorry, $120. So we'd say $120. Uh, and the original H1, so we'll just say the case is 200 bucks. Gen 4 riser, 70 bucks. Uh, 140 millimeter fan is 19 bucks. Because they don't make 140 millimeter AIO, we're gonna say the 120, that's $90. So if you were to add the H1 plus a PS, plus a G, oh wait, this one also, hey, uh, just so you know, this one also included a uh, power supply and a AIO. So we'll just say, so 99 bucks. So it comes in right at 399, which is when you add up the math. So if you think about case and all that stuff, it comes in right at, uh, right at cost, which is actually pretty cool. <clears throat> Uh, an included GPU to nice to make it a semi pre-built. So James uh, McMillan is saying, hey, yeah, if you could get a GPU, actually NZXT sells these as pre-built as well. So if you want to just get an H1 Mini Plus or whatever it was, you can do that. They're, I mean, again, at that point in time, if they're including a GPU, then you're not really building anything. So you can just buy the actual pre-built system itself. Um, and I think the markup on it was like only like, I think it was only like a hundred bucks. It was actually pretty inexpensive if you just bought the system itself. Now, I don't think uh, these are not available yet as part of their BLD stuff yet, um, but they will be eventually. And we'll, and of, of course, we'll show it out. Old Rick Roby had a farm, A-I-A-I-O, and on this farm he had a 12700K, A-I-A-I-O. Um, 
Uh, Cole Clark, you'd have to talk. I'm not the person to know. Okay, okay, I good to go. I got to go. Have fun. See you later. Yo, XL, XL Live. Um, any other command, uh, any other questions that you guys have about the case? And then we'll talk about the parts we're going to put inside of it, testing it today. Because I don't think it's going to take too long to build this bad boy. Is it better to buy a pre-built system or build your own? So TSA Monton, um, that's, a, that's, a, that's a great question. Um, the one thing that is nice about pre-built, so like say for instance you bought an NZXT BLD system. The thing that's nice is that you have one place to go for for any warranty issues um, and uh, versus having to go everywhere else. The thing is, is that when you pre-built, when you build your own system, in many cases, you can actually do it cheaper than you could do uh, having somebody build the system for you. Um, and then the warranties have a tendency to be longer sometimes with pre-built, depending if you buy them from a quality, from like a quality company like Origin, NZXT, uh, any of those ones that use major, uh, major off-the-shelf components. Is it only available in black? Well, no, because this one's white. I showed this one in white. So right now, sorry, the case is stripped right now, so you'll see it again when we go in there. Um, uh, praying I'm good. PSUs tend to be very bad on pre-builds. Uh, so the one thing I do like, um, and especially certain brands, like NZXT in their builds, uh, so the, this one actually has an NZXT PSU, which is usually supported, which I think they get from Seasonic directly, I think makes their NZXT PSUs. So it just depends on, it just depends on uh, who you're buying from. And again, you, most of those guys, they pull that information uh, directly. So, and you can look that stuff up. It'll tell you who their, who, who their PSU is made by. Any other questions? Airflow looks stupid out of the system. Xbox Series only need a fan for the 12 terabyte flop system. So Senate uh, is saying, hey, the airflow on this looks terrible. Uh, the build that we're gonna put inside of this is significantly more powerful than what would be an Xbox Series X. Uh, so I think it would be a little over, I, 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 it, correct me if I'm wrong, I think we're talking about 33 teraflops for doing a 3070 Ti. So this would be more powerful than a Series X. And the temperatures are going to be, if, if, they're, if their numbers are correct, would be the same, uh, would be better. So yeah, but that's a that's a good that's a good point. And again, there's no issue with playing on a console. The Series X is a great console. I have a Series X, and you also uh, you also have a uh, uh, you also have uh, uh, the PlayStation Five. So the V2 might be good. It actually has an exhaust fan this time. Yes, Orcas will be checking it out and showing this as well. Unless you change, what's better? What's what's better, gaming desktop or laptop? So gaming desktops are going to be more powerful. More powerful for sure, but then again, laptops, you get to carry everything on your own. The TDP, in terms of the amount of power that you can give a laptop, GPU is limiting, versus on a desktop, you, you get way more. Oh, it's a 3070, sorry, you're right, House of Tom. Hey, can somebody get me the the, the, the uh, teraflops for the 3070? Uh, I, was just, I thought it was 33, but it might be less. Yeah, and thermal, yeah, depending on which one, IMKC, depends on which laptops you get. Like, we've had some great budget laptops that don't have thermal throttle issues. Is there any benefit to keeping the Newegg stream window open? It makes Newegg happy in Matrix. <clears throat> okay, it sounds like you guys, I don't see any other questions. So let's go ahead and put this back together and we'll walk through the parts we're gonna put inside of this. 20 teraflops, thank you house. So 20 teraflops inside of the 3070. So it is more powerful than a, uh, a Series X. And that's just, in, that's just the GPU. Uh, perf about 8% performance is the difference between a 3070 and a 3070 Ti. I love how easy these go back together. I think this goes on the back. That is the back. No, that's the front, okay. There we go. And I think this, uh, I think we're still waiting for when the systems ship. I know you can buy them now, but they, I don't think the actual cases are shipping quite yet. Okay, so there's the H1, the version one. Clean up the glass. So you can ship out to their new owner. Okay, so there's the H1, and let's put the V2 back together, and then we'll start the whole process of walking through the parts we're gonna put inside of this today. So remember, this is already includes, this already includes an AIO, and it includes a 
Um, power supply, riser cable, and uh, all that stuff right off the bat. struggles here. Oh, wait, I know why. Because I'm putting the wrong part on, Roby. Good job. Learn to, learn to build, noob. Okay, there we go. Luckily, you can only do it one way. Okay, so there is tempered glass, man. Gotta keep it clean. Okay, so there is the NZXT H1 V2. So inside of our build today, we're gonna, we're gonna flex it a bit. We're definitely gonna flex it to build and use something a little bit warm. So we're gonna be using the uh, Intel Core, I, uh, the Core i7 12700K, relatively warm uh, uh, GPU, I mean, P, uh, sorry, CPU. So definitely gonna be testing the 140 millimeter AIO. I guess the pump runs at 4,000 RPM, so we'll be testing that today. Uh, we're gonna be putting that until inside of the ROG Strix B660i uh, gaming Wi-Fi. So uh, good, good old Oris ROG uh, B660 motherboard, making this a little bit budget versus using the Z690. We do have the C690 coming, um, uh, so if we ever wanted to throw like a 12900K or whatever it was, but given we're limited by the power supply, we thought, hey, we're probably gonna put something a little bit more uh, budget conscious in terms of our motherboard. Now cooling, like I said, cooling is gonna be provided by the NZXT H1. For RAM, because we are of course doing a 12th gen, we're gonna be using G-Skill Triton Z5. This is 6,000 uh, 6, megahertz RAM. So we are using DDR5, woohoo! Uh, as well. Uh, we're also gonna be using uh, for our OS drive, the SX8200 uh, Pro from XPG. And because we can support um, because we can support PCIe Gen 4, we're gonna be using this Patriot P400 uh, Gen 4 M.2 NVMe. Uh, this is brand new. I think the speed on this is 5,000. So it's 5,000 megabits. Uh, reads, uh, reads up to 5,000, so nice and fast. Supports up to two terabytes. These have just been announced, so we're gonna be checking that out. That just came out from Patriot. Uh, and then lastly, because we can put big old chonky cores, chonky GPUs inside of this, we're gonna be using the EVGA FT, uh, EGGA 3070 for the Win 3, which is about the maximum you wanna use uh, with a 750 watt PSU. So all of this is gonna go inside of here. Why would you use a B660 and not an H670 or a Z690 for a 12700K? I mean, honestly, because I can't overclock. I'm not gonna be able to overclock Chitra. So when you think about cost, uh, the cost for the B660 is the, is, was the least of the three. That's why. I have all of them, so, but that's what we decided to do. It won't fit. Yes, it will, Vicar. Yes, it will. We already tested it. Actually, you can fit an, you can fit an Oris. Elite inside of this. No! Okay, well, Vicar, you just wait and you see, okay? You wait and see. And then if I'm wrong, then you get a hug. <laughs> Man, we've had we've had some we've had some crazy people here on the show here. So, um, okay, so there it is. Vicar's still getting mad. Hey, why don't we do this? Why don't we put it in first, just because? Where do you source your parts from uh, all sorts of places actually? Some of them from uh, some of them directly from the manufacturers, all that sort of stuff. Okay, so let's get this done. We're just gonna, we're gonna make Vicar happy first. Ready, Vicar? We're gonna get Vicar happy. Who's ready to make Vicar happy? We're gonna start there. Not crazy, I have the paperwork. So here we go, we're gonna strip this down. As he says, we're gonna go ahead and take this apart and get it ready. We're gonna start with the GPU. Oh, here we go again. Yes, KevTech, you are absolutely right. But nobody, no, very few people do that. No, we're gonna, no, he's not. He's not kidding. Nobody trolls in this channel. It's not possible. Okay, you guys ready? Here it is right here. Let's go to top down just to make Vicar happy. Go top down. Vicar's mad. Cause we can do it in this order. 
So here's our EVGA RTX 3070. No, Vicar, you can't joke. That's not allowed here. It did say 3070, we'll fix that. Uh, can somebody update that uh, for th the title? It's supposed to be 3070, not 3070 Ti, my bad. I'll fix it on the YouTubes. YouTubes needs to be the right number. Oh, actually, I can, actually, you know what? I'll just fix it right here, hold on one sec. Update title. Update all. And that is my bad. There you go, fixed. Now you guys can't get mad anymore. Vicker can't joke, he's not allowed to joke. Man, I'm, I'm probably just more, I'm just probably more, uh, I'm more crazy because of, because uh, after that whole thing about the thermals yesterday in the 011. Hey, Jez is here. How you doing, buddy? How's the cat? Is it still going to other people's houses because you don't feed it? Okay, here we go. So now all we need, let's go ahead and pull this out. And I love this. Actually, the other thing too is look, check it out. We get triple, triple, look at that, three PCIe Gen. Now we don't need any of this, so we're just gonna put that down there and we'll clean it up and keep it sore, but this is what we do need for this right here. Triple. And this is where we actually, it actually has a place to mount, a, to do SATA right here. So you could like add easy places for SATA storage if you wanted to. I definitely do not want to get that jammed in there. So we're going to put it down so it's clean. What's up, man? Okay, there we go. So that's clean now. It's not hitting this. Okay, so we're good there. Okay, you ready, Vicar? By the way, this is everybody, this is Vicar's fault. Chonky PS GPU going in. There we go. Let's grab our cable here. Oopsie. Come on. There we go. Other one right here. Look at that. Well, we'll test it. We're gonna do we're gonna do our testing here in a, in a, in a, after we're done. But uh, if you want to see, like airflow in this case has actually been pretty good for the people who've tested already. There's actually reviews out this morning. We just like to do ours live stream because it's more fun, and you guys are such nice people. But that's the thing is all the people always think, oh man, it's small, it's an SFX build and an SFF build and then you find it, you're like surprised. Like in the, uh, like when we did the height revolt and then the height revolt was like, there we go, look at that. In, and here it's just, just, to, just to seal the deal, just to seal the deal, you go like this. You go like this. And there you go. Look, it's in. There you go, it is in. The case fits. There it is, there's your build. 
It is actually, it actually fit, it actually fits. So there it is. So this is not an A, this is not an H1, this is an H1 V2, just so you guys know. So uh, it's not, the build's not done, unfortunately. And so you're talking about the extra fan. This actually, the NGXT H1 actually has a second fan built into it now, a 92 millimeter, which is right here. So, so hey, uh, so Cert sa Sense says, he's like, hey, it's $400. Yes, it's $400, but it codes a power supply, which is about 129 bucks if you include it, if you come with, um, if you uh, get a one on sale. Gen 4 riser cable, which is $70 and $120 for a, uh, NVMe, uh, sorry, uh, 140 millimeter AIO. And then, so that leaves that the case itself is less, less than a hundred bucks. Well, we will test all that here in just a second. Okay, so there is, the GPU is already in. We got the GPU installed already. Look at that. There it is. So the GPU, oh wait, you're not seeing the GPU. There's the GPU. Uh, so for the opt, so this is set up for optimal cooling, actually. Uh, so uh, Hardware Connects actually switched around the fans, but the GPU temps suffered tremendously. So this is actually the optimal configuration uh, as it sits right now. So NZXT actually knew what they were doing. <clears throat> okay, so there it is. There is a hundred. You got a 3070 for the Win 3 inside of this, which you could not do in the the NZXT H1. So the, obviously, right there, we're already we're already a step ahead. Okay, let's get our let's get the rest of our PC built now. You guys are ready. Okay, here we go. Going to top down. Top down! Okay, here we go. Uh, Spaceman Spiff, yes, the actual case itself is bigger. We'll show it again at the very end, but we actually had both on, uh, both on here. Um, uh, showing the difference. It is actually a bigger, it's actually bigger than the, the uh, original H1. There we go. Okay, so there's that. Let's grab our components for doing this. There we go. So we can, just for the sake of speediness, Speediness. Oh, I got the, that's right, I got the mounts and stuff in there. Okay, so let's get, let's flip this over. Now we've already put an OS and stuff on this. We actually have already bench tested this stuff. So we're actually, we know that the board and everything works. It's already been BIOS updated and all that stuff because we wanted to make sure we could bench it just here on the show. So. Tech can totally be cute. Uh, this board is the uh, ROG Strix B660i gaming Wi-Fi. Yeah, the case is expensive because of what it, it comes with. It doesn't just come with just the case. It comes with uh, all of the other components as well. There we go. Okay, we're gonna peel this. Integrated IO shield. Okay, let's go ahead and put our other M.2 in, our Gen 4. If this is, yeah, this looks like it's got a peel on it. There's quite a few, a few peels on this. There we go, found it. There we go. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so now let's pop this open. Those are not captive. Uh, the ports on this for display ports, I'm interested in seeing the display ports. Can you support through monitors? Uh, this, uh, I wouldn't, this, this, uh, this only has a single display port because this is just for the integrated graphics. You're talking about the GPU. The GPU definitely has, um, I don't remember, I forgot how many display ports it has. Yeah, it'll do three display ports on the GPU. So, so yeah, you can do three monitors on a 3070. All right, let's get this undone. There we go. Okay, there is that. Guys, we're 13 away. Yeah, 13 away from unlocking the first 50. Let's see if we can at least get that right now. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna pop this in. This is our Gen 4 NVMe SSD. There we go. Using Asus's little tech stuff. There we go. Okay, cool. There's that installed. And now let's just get our cover back on. Uh, count to it, sometimes it is. Yeah, this build specifically, we had to do a bunch of stuff to make sure we're good. Install the OS. Make sure the uh, make sure the Ada sixty four was on there already. Cyberpunk was downloaded, update, updating the BIOS, all that sort of stuff to just make sure this one went well. But most of the time, it's actually not that bad. And then, well, I guess we also we we also uh, make sure we pulled all the parts and all that sort of stuff too. Okay, so this is so our OS is in. Let's go ahead and put our CPU in. I mean, our our uh, drives are in. Well, welcome, Frederick. We just started. We usually don't have streams on Tuesday, so you're okay. But we made a special exception for the fine folks over at NZXT. They're blessed. Yes, it does. D Dust Beast, it does. It has one on the back and one on the front. I can show you the second one on the back. We already installed the, the thing there. There we go. thing guys ram well I, oh wait oh yeah no no i'm good whoa that jumped way high okay let's get our thermal paste on real quick and then we'll install our ram
go. Like butter. Controlling Phantom, not on a 12900K. I mean, on a on a on the new LGA 1700, I don't think it is. Personally, we've uh, like we've noticed issues. Like we just did some tests. We were literally just doing some tests beforehand uh, using an L9i with just the dot method versus a full coverage, and we saw like significant thermals on significant thermal differences, like six degrees on the dot method versus using a full covered. There's just a lot more in these chips now. Oops, I got stuff all over my finger. Yeah, we have to compensate for the fact that the dies are bigger, the IHS is bigger, all that sort of stuff. Okay, so there we go. We got this is ready. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and grab our click a meter for our DDR5 installation. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, so DDR5, this is 6000 megahertz DDR5. Woo -doo -doo. Man, I got freaking thermal paste everywhere. I still have thermal paste on my fingers. I don't want to rub this everywhere, so I'm going to get this off again. What is that game, Creamy Thick? I saw that. I don't, I've never even heard of it. Guys, actually DDR5 has been pretty much like it, the, the, the Corsair stuff showed up today. Um, I, I see it show up, it's in stock all the time. So, kind of like League, but as an MMO. Okay, so it's a, it's a, it's a, uh, it's actually a, uh, gosh darn it, what's the word? Uh, it's a MOBA? All right, here we go. Is it by Riot? Okay, here we go. Oh, let me stop the music. So you guys can hear the clicks. Everybody likes to hear the clicks. Here we go. Ooh, 97 on that one. That was quality. That was not, 74.5 on that one. Okay, so 97 and a 74.5. Click, yeah, that one, that one wasn't as good as normal, but the first one was great. Second one, not so much, but it's all done. Okay. Path of Exile, really? Yeah, they do. Uh, the BLD kits do come with thermal paste. Yes, big chip. Ah. Uh, yes, Mehmet, but it'll it'll but it'll hurt the but it'll hurt the uh, it'll hurt the uh, uh, GPU temps. Far worse. Oh, okay. 
Time to actually get this built. Okay, so here we are, we got it right here. Uh, Chrissy Robin, because that's where you should. That's where, uh, that's for, uh, that's, so you get uh, dual channel and at the same time, uh, it's how the motherboard's wired. So that's where you wanna put it unless you have four, four dims. And this only has two dims, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so it says remove screws at the arrow. So here we go. And these are captive. Check it out. See, they don't come out. There it is. And then this just pops open. <gasps> Look at that. Look at that. What is all this stuff? Okay, so here we go. It says right here. Position tubes outward before closing. Okay, that seems pretty straightforward. There we go. There's our thermal paste, but we're not gonna be using that stuff. Then here we got the extra cables. USB 3.0, all that sort of jazz. And the only other thing we need to get rid of is this. Get rid of that. Okay, there we go. And everything's kind of pre-routed already, so it makes it really easy. It's actually marked on the motherboard too, Kaus. Okay, so here's all of our different connections, our power cables in here, a love letter from Andy's in here. Thanks Andy for the love letter. Robbie, you're the best. Okay, there's all our stuff. That's the only thing I need for mine. Okay, now before we get too far, Move this over. Yeah, Andy sounds like Mickey Mouse. Yep, everybody sounds like Mickey Mouse. Okay, we're gonna put our LGA 1700 on here. Ugh. Given this build is not staying together, we're not using the sticky. There we go. Grab our little cables. Cobblays. So what we're doing right now is we're just putting the uh, we're just putting the stuff around uh, stuff inside of stuff installing it. Okay, so we're just putting our mount. Make sure these are tight. Don't do what Roby did the last time and not tighten them all the way. There we go. Thank you. There we go on that one, last one. Oopsie. There we go. Okay, everything there is good. I need my other mounts. Okay, 
Okay, so put that in there. There's our brackets. Okay, now we can put this inside of the case. Zoom out a little bit so you guys can see. I'm actually gonna lower this a little bit too. It's a little easier to reach in, you know? Okay, so let's grab this. And I think you actually want it to go like this. There it is. Pretty straightforward right there. So we get four. Four motherboard screws. You also get a splitter for your front panel connectors. There's your four motherboard screws, your combo jack right there. Hey, Jetton, thank you very much, Resub. Guys, 12 away from 50 subs. At least get to, let's at least get to that tier. And it looks like we actually also, I don't know what this is. I gotta look that up. I don't know what that comes with. I think, I didn't see a manual. Okay. Okay, there we go. Let's see what we can do, guys. Let's get those last 12. There we go. There we go. And there we go. And one more screw. Okay, so that's all of our screws in. We're just gonna take our Gen 4 riser. Easy, peasy, lemon squeezy. And we're gonna take our pre-routed power cable. There we go. That is in. Now it's in. Okay, we got a pre-route. So we got a couple other pre-routes here. HD audio. So we might have to undo some of these. Just to be careful. Okay, so let's grab our EPS connector. It's gonna go right here. Okay, now. We have our other cables. I'm gonna rotate this just to make it a little easier for me. Okay, so that should work. Okay, first one is USB. Let's do our, where's the USB? Fan, okay. HD front panel. Okay, I'm gonna just see where, just looking real quick to make sure I put these things in the right place. Let's put just up a little bit so you guys can see a little bit better. Okay, I'm never afraid to use my manual. So 17 
is your system panel and then USB is nine. USB two is eight. Where is USB is four, 10, right? Yeah, okay, so 10 is way over there. Okay, so we have 10 is way over here. Okay, cool. Okay, so we got our, let's grab our, okay, this is our, this is our USB for our fan hub, which is built in. Run that one a little bit separately here later. Okay, this is our front panel header. Then I'll clean these up here in a minute once I... Sorry about my head, if you guys can't see, I'm trying to... A little hard to do this sometimes with There we go, front panel header. Okay. HD audio, another cable that has to go a long way. There we go, right there. Here's our HD audio. And there's our front panel. USB-C is next. One of those things you always gotta Come on. Nope. I'm this way. Okay, there's front panel. Last one is USB 3.2. I just don't want to bend any pins, so I'm sorry for my head, guys, but... I'm gonna come straight down on this, or you can bend pins. There we go. Okay, cool. Now I can reroute some of these just to give them more optimal settings here. Okay. That takes care of that one. Okay, so what we're gonna do here, let's push this up. Give me the cable here. This is like going to be the longest part of the build. go. Now, there we go. Okay, so that takes care of those. Draw out of the way. Routed and clean. That actually looks okay.
There we go. All that work didn't even kid it. There we go. Okay, there we go. So now we got all that stuff cleared out of the way. Builds, everything's hooked up. It looks clean the way we want it to. Robitech ready. What do you guys think? Clean, right? what we want, right? Looks pretty dirty. You guys are so kind. The case is the NZXT H1V2. It just came out today. Okay, so next stop, we're gonna remove the thermal paste from this. Very low profile cooler, 140 millimeter AIO. Okay. Man, more thermal paste on my hands. There we go. Whoa, burnt unicorn, wow. Okay. Okay. That is ready. You guys are seeing how easy it is to build this PC because we're we're just about done with it. It's just, there's not that much left to do. Well, come on. Uh, no, that's actually the way that sits. 
because I already peeled off of it and then there was, there, it looks like that's the way it sits. Okay, so now we're just gonna seal this down. Definitely want to make sure we get a good seal on this. Okay, there we go. So there it is, guys. The whole build is done. That's all there really is to it. It's really that straightforward. The build is done, and that's it. So you just separate these out, push this down. We're not hitting anything. These ones cables are kind of. There it is. Yeah, that's it. There's all there is to it. Cables come out and sit on the outside. Just making sure that our stuff is all plugged in. That's what the that's what the issue was. Hold on. We got a bit of a trap hose over here. There we go. Okay, so hoses are not trapped. Looks good. And there looks good. Hoses are good. That looks quality. I mean, I will tell you, man, thicker VRM on this might be rough. Like you definitely want to make sure you got enough height for these cables to come through. But everything looks good. Now CPU fan and everything all runs through cam. So there is no CPU fan header or anything like that. Again. Everything's running off cam, and cam is running everything. So there's no pump header or anything like that. It's all running off of a single USB. A um, little bit of pressure on the RAM. Everything looks good there too. Okay. And just checking our GPU, which is already installed. Okay, GPU is installed. Oh, there's a little bit of a peel there on it. There we go. Okay, build's done. Oh, wait, we got more peels on here. Okay, now the build is done. Oh, we hit 50. Whoa. Cool, I'll have to update the uh, giveaway thing. Ali B, yes they did, and this is the H1 V2. Yeah, it was a fat, like I said, we knew that we'd have time to, with just how simple this build is, we knew we'd have time to thermal test it and all this stuff. So again, we'll uh, show it off here in a minute so people can see the difference between the NZXT H1 and the V2 too. Okay, so there's that. Yeah, that was an hour and a half, and a lot of that was me yapping. So it wasn't like, it, solid build time was not that long. Oh, I did want to show you guys this too. Uh, also included here is, I think this just pops down, yeah. This is where the uh, fan hub is. It comes with the NZXT H1. 
V2. So it actually has the built-in fan hub. Both fans are already connected. So, and then again, like I said, you can actually stick two SSDs in here as well. Um, they aren't pre, like there's no SATA data connections or anything like that. So they're not pre uh, wired, but again, uh, this does come with a, a hub uh, for the pump and everything else. So that's all, that's already built and all pre-wired as well. So that inclu that's included in this as well. As well as remember three uh, fan connections for uh, your 3070 or your 3080 or whatever, right? So, okay, so there is our build. A little bit of connection here with the, there we go. Okay, let's grab There we go. There it is. Okay. didn't it would help if you actually get everything into the there we go okay builds in oh shoot there is a fan header haha <laughs> there is a fan see it's like when you find little things you're like oh gosh pop down okay so here's our fan I'm assuming I do not know what this is. This is pump or fan. It does not say. Everything else was wired, but I don't know if this is a pump or a fan. Um, I'm wondering if, let me see if there is instructions. Oh, you know what, there's a reviewer guide, hold on. I'm gonna see what that is. I'm just gonna make sure though. I just want to make sure. I mean, it looks that way, but it's just like. I feel like there's supposed to be, I wonder if it's, hold on, let me see if it's, usually it would be in there, but maybe I, this is, which one is this? Is this the H1 or this is the, Wait, this is it, okay. Oh, I found the book, okay, cool. Oh, ow. I cut myself on the book. Oh, ow, 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 oh, 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 oh. I'm making it sound way more dramatic. Okay, this is what I was looking for. Okay, we found it. Yeah, it looks like it's pump. Yep, that's the pump, okay. So confirmed pump. 
just like we all thought it was. Confirmed pump. So now we just need to get the pump into the Okay, so it's pump, which is what we thought. Good. Now we just need to find the pump header, which one it is. I'm assuming it's the one next to it, but I want to look, because you want to definitely use the pump header for this. Four, next to it. Okay, cool. So it's this one right here. Okay, there we go. Now it's all connected. Thank you guys, we solved it. We've now got it all hooked up. Oops, gotta be careful with that. Okay. Okay, there's the first one. Okay, so there it is. There's the NZXT H1V2. All put together, built, ready to go. Now again, you're not gonna see a lot of stuff through the tempered glass, but you wanna keep the tempered glass uh, clean. Now here is, just so people, cause there's a lot of new people, this is the NZXT H1V1. So this is the difference in terms of the two. Now again, quite a bit bigger in terms of size uh, in every way, right? So even if you like, if I was gonna stick it on its side, and then here, we'll stick this on its side so you guys can see like even the difference in terms of both the depth, right? And that's the difference is, is that this can fit a much larger GPU in it. It's, uh, it's 750 watts. Um, it's got a PCIe Gen 4. Um, so quite a few kind of changes between uh, the two PCs, so. <clears throat> okay, let me, let me do this. Update our gift card. So we're at 54. Starting that, okay, there we go. So again, bigger case in general, and then of course, obviously more powerful. Now inside of the, inside of the V2 that we have here, we have a 12700K, 32 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of DDR5 RAM, We've got 1.5 terabytes, uh, one is PCIe Gen 4. We've got 140 millimeter AIO, which comes included, a 750 watt PSU, and then an EVGA 3070 for the Win 3. So pretty big, hefty build in terms of what's included here. So, but let's turn it on. What do you guys say? Ugh. Okay, so we're gonna push this down. Now the lucky thing about this is they actually have a pretty hefty, oh shoot. I'm assuming they turned this on for me already. I guess we'll find out. Okay. And then there. Okay, now let's grab, just because we need these. Okay, and lastly, mouse. Okay, well I am getting power for sure because I'm looking, I'm seeing link lights. Okay, there we go. Am 
my poor cooler master. There we go. Okay, cool. So there is all the belt. Everything is all ready to go. Got our cables done. Okay, let's turn it on. There it is. It is on. That's all there is. There's no, there's no big climax because like there's not a lot to light. So the build is on. We are getting the purple EVGA through the side here. So you guys can see a little bit of that maybe. We'll go to, we'll go to mood mode. So you can actually see that little thing right there. Okay, it is green. And then we do have a post. So it is posted. And you guys are not seeing it, but we'll hopefully get it up here in a second. Definitely unplug this. Let's see if it works now. Okay, got to do the whole unplug and plug back in thing. We are posted, by the way. Okay, there we go. Okay, so there we are inside. Right now our 12700K is getting 25 degrees, which is great. That's a, that's a good temperature right off the bat here. I'm gonna move this over so I can get this, gonna disable our, our CPU fan real quick. You can see both of our M.2s are in there. Let's go ahead and enable EX, EA, XMP. And then we're gonna go ahead and go to advanced mode, go to monitor. Oh, not like that. Go back. And speed monitor. Ignore. And there we go. And everything else looks good. Okay, so F7, F10. There we go. Okay, so we're rebooting. Hopefully this works. I haven't tried this with XMP. So we'll, and we're not gonna manually time. We're just gonna see what we can get. Hopefully it works. Okay, there it is, it's booting. Yay, it worked. Okay, so we got we got full 5,000, we got full 6,000 megahertz RAM. This is running Windows 10. Okay, so there we are, we're inside of our OS now. Let's go ahead and do our first test, which we're gonna run eight of 64. Well, let, uh, whoa, it's gotta, it's gotta, it's gotta read, get out, there we go. There we go. Okay, so let's run our tool stuff here. We're gonna go to preferences. Well, okay, so let's do CPU package. I want, I want CPU package is fine. Uh, what's the other one I want? I want CPU package. I don't care about, well, I guess I, actually we can go, why don't we go ahead and do, we'll do, let's do, well, I don't want to do all 12 cords. We got GPU Dio, GPU hotspot. And we don't, I don't care about CPU, GT cores. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, this is, this should be fine. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start, see what it gets up to. OK, 
Okay, so right now we're sitting at 81, 82. Let's get rid of this. So there's our Jeep, there's our CPU right now. Ooh, 93, 92. Now, I will tell you, this thing is quiet. So, I mean, I'm not hearing anything. Somebody was saying this is gonna be loud. It is not loud. And he said, and even, uh, even uh, uh, the guys at uh, Hardware Canucks said that they could hear the pump. I cannot hear the pump. Yeah, we're looking at temps right now, the CPU right now. Yeah, it's four, it's 4,000 RPM. Yeah, it's running at 4,000 RPM. This is an i7, 12700K. Ooh, there's 100. Oh, there's some, so that thermal throttled. It's getting warmer. Now remember, this is 140 millimeter AIO. Again, I'm hearing almost nothing. And again, this is not what you're gonna get with gaming. Yeah, we're definitely seeing some throttling for sure. Yeah, you could run a 12400. A 12600 is still pretty still runs pretty warm, but we wanted to see this. Yeah, you could undervolt too. Oh yeah, that's a good call. Hold on, let me stop this. That's a good call. Um, it actually may not be getting it may not be getting. Hold on, I got to run cam. We may not actually be getting, um, we may not actually be getting the fan to do the right thing. That's a good call, I forgot about that. Because Cam's gotta run. And that runs the, that actually runs the fan. Ha, good call. Ooh, it got really quiet all of a sudden. Okay, here we go. So right now let's put it on, let's put it on performance for both. So there's our, there's our fans. Okay, let's start this again. Thank you for, I didn't even think about that. Okay, so here we go right there. So we're running at performance there. Okay, fan is spinning up. Oh, look at that. So you can definitely hear it, but it is doing a better job. So there it is, like it's doing a better job. Move the camera, yeah, yeah. Actually what I'll do is I'll do this, hold on. But you're looking at that fan is running at 1700 RPM. Well, Ghostbuster 80 to 80 would be nothing. I mean, 80 is fine. I mean, I'm looking at the CPU diodes actually a bit warmer. And again, this is worst case scenario. You're not gonna hit this high on gaming. Oh, dude, this would run, this would run Fortnite at, at like 303 or 350 FPS. 
Uh, so that thing is, is that this is a different a half nut. I'm get, I, I am I am betting that when we run Cyberpunk, it won't be anywhere near that. And and 80 degrees is nothing. And again, the thing is, is if you're 80 degrees for gaming is not an issue. If you're hitting 80 degrees in gaming, you're in good shape. You're not, dude, you don't, this thing can, this thing is not thermal throttling up to 90 plus. So you're not having any issues whatsoever and you're not doing wear and tear on a, on a piece of component. It's not like that. So. Yeah, I can add core temps, hold on. Let's go to here. Let's do that. Let me stop, uh, let me go to stop. Well, let's do preferences. So let's do core, the uh, core, hottest core is gonna be one, two. We're gonna do 11 and 12. So it looks like core, they're all, they're all sitting about that point right here. So we're not having an overheating issue because the machine's not stopping. We're also not, the thing is, is Ada 64 has protection. So there's no thermal protection. It hasn't had any issue there. Looks like it's jumping. The highest one is a hundred and it's a bunch of different cores. But I mean, we're running every core at a hundred percent. No, 12600K is the cool one. 12700K is not cool. Again, these temperatures are not, they're not, they're not amazing, but they're not bad. I mean, this would like, like I said, we game, it would be nowhere near this bad. And we can test that here in a sec, cause we're gonna run, we'll run Cyberpunk at, 1080p, which is the worst in terms of temps for uh, for CPU, right? Um, but I mean, most people aren't gonna play 1080p, but we're, we'll run it at 1080p um, and then see what our temps are. But I mean, all in all, this is, there is, some, it looks like it is thermal throttling um, because we're seeing some of that stuff, but all in all, like the core package temp on NZ on core though is actually pretty good. Sitting at 83, 85, I mean, we need to let it soak for about 15 minutes. And it's not that bad. It's not as loud as, oh, you know what? I can tell you how loud it is. Let's see how the decibel, we got decibels right here. So loudness, we're sitting at, sixty-eight decibels. So again, just to compare in terms of mouse click, So it's about the light, about the, the loudness of a mouse click. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, it's, it's overheating because it's thermal throttling for sure. Guys, this is, again, you have a 140 millimeter AIO in here that is with a 12700K and a 3070 and we are stressing the absolute worst of it. And that's actually, I mean, it's way better than I thought. I did not think it would be able to do this.
I have to fancy make my PC sound like a, like a vacuum cleaner. And we're watching it. I mean, it's still getting warm, right? Well, yeah, but a, a nimble blitz, it's like, again, with power, right? And the other thing too is like, we really have a 12900K sitting in the other room that's a 12700K that's air-cooled that's sitting in the 60s. Like if we brought our 011 Mini Air in here, that's sitting on a 12700K, obviously the best air cooling you can do, and it's sitting in the 60s under load. So. We're letting it give it a little bit more time. Elapsed time now on the thing has gone to so We've been running for seven minutes. So we're close to soak, about eight minutes from soak. The temps are still, I mean, again, that main core CPU, the CPU temp there is fine. Nimble bits, this 5800X runs freaking crazy hot. I don't know what you're talking about. Dude, that thing is freaking crazy. 5900X would be better actually, because it has less of a thermal issues. <laughs> All right, dude, we have 5800X is like, that's a brutal CPU for cooling. So Fath, we actually, the, we're, we're not using stock uh, uh, paste on this either. Switch the fans and pump the silent. Yeah, that would, uh, I don't know what that, that would probably have an issue. But again, the PC's not shutting off. It's not hitting, it's, it's overheating but it is not having an issue running the game. I mean, running running the thing. And again, we're running at 100% utilization. So this is worse of the worst. Yeah, Nimble, again, it's completely compared to, it just completely, it depends on what you cover it in. I mean, like I can pull 5800X builds that basically it's, it's just a warm CPU. Uh, the temp in the room is probably actually pretty warm. Uh, I don't know what it is in here right now. I'm guessing 26, 27. No, Quintus, I don't. I mean, I, if you guys wanna, if you guys wanna see, yeah, Celsius, yeah. If you guys wanna see like a 12, a 12700K, run it like ice, we can, we can, we, we have a build here that's actually in the other room that we could throw in here and show you an ice version of this build. But guys, I like, to be honest, this is not shutting off. You would not hit these temps at gaming. Um, and, uh, and we'll test, we'll, we'll test it right now. So we'll, we'll like, we're close. I'm trying to see if we can get to 15 minutes because I want to see if we have any issues. That's when we'd see shut off, but a couple things, right? A to 64, if it hits a thermal issue, we'll shut off. It has not shut off. Uh, and the other thing too is we're just recording the temps. And if you've ever used ADA 64 before, like if it's like, if it's worried about damaging the hardware, it will stop, it will turn it, turn everything off. Uh, in terms of, we are seeing core drops, but the other thing too is that some of that stuff is, I mean, it's fine. And then the, the, all in all, like the pack, whatever this is reading, which I don't know what this reads, this has been sitting at, this is the highest it ever got was 90. And we're now at 15 minutes. We're getting close to 15 minutes in. Yeah, we're at 11 minutes in and this is not this is not going to do any worse. Oh, I'd have to download hardware info. I didn't that I didn't prep. I just prepped for doing temps.
I guess, hold on, we can do, hold on, let me, all right, we have armory crate. Update it later. So it's at 43.23. And then here's all your CPU cores. Voltage is at there's your, there's your CPU core voltages, 1.2. So that's actually not that bad. And your frequencies are fine. And there's your temps here, 85, 86. So yeah, 87. But again, your frequent, we're not seeing, look at this. We're not seeing a drop in frequency. Oh wait, no, no, it did. No, 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 it, oh no, no, they're not. There's, oh yeah, there we go. So there's a thermal throttle right there. So yeah, you're seeing some of that, 42. So here we go, we're gonna watch the frequencies happen real time. So we're seeing a small dip in thermal throttle. I'm not gonna do that on the show. <laughs> Word, that is something I'm not going to do yet. But again, that's like, again, we're not, it's not, it's, it's, it's not bad. Yeah, it's working as intended. Yes, the thing is, is that, so what we do, so what we're doing right now, so Avatar's asking what we're doing, right now we're doing the worst case. Like, so when we, if we were to run gaming or anything like that, which we'll do here in a minute, you will see we'll not hit anywhere near these temperatures, even at 1080p. We won't be anywhere near this temperature, which means we won't have any thermal throttling. We're basically having to run this at 100% on all cores for 15 minutes to get to the point where we're seeing, and we're only seeing slight drops in clock cores, but, this is working as intended. Now, did we push this too far? There are things that we could do. One, we could undervolt, which would actually, all in all, you probably would lose almost no performance and then still be able to keep your temps and you probably wouldn't end up doing that. It's just, you probably, I don't know, we'd have to figure out what the voltages are. Um, but in terms of just stock going in there and playing gaming, which is what I would do with this, then I think we'd be fine. Um, the AIO, you can't do any bigger in this. It's 140. Yeah, but I mean, Org Chaos, like, so Org saying, hey, max temps, I'd love to get 70s, but there is no benefit to running at 70s, 80s. It's when you get into the high 80s that there's actually a benefit, but running a, running a CPU at 80 and running a CPU at 70 or running a CPU at 60, there's no benefit in terms of lower, like in lower temperatures. And the thing is Intel, AMD, all of them have come out and said, hey, basically even running them at max temp. So let's say for instance, you did like a passive cooling, doesn't actually decrease the life, the life cycle of the CPU by anything significant. So yeah, and the, yeah, so that's like all in all, you're, you're basically, you're basically, there's no, there's no benefit. There's just you saying, hey, my thing runs cool, but it doesn't do anything. Now it does provide more headroom. So should you decide to overclock or whatever it was, then you have that option, but most people don't overclock. So in other words, that's, that's kind of the point, yeah. Well, that's different, <laughs> or yeah, that's different right there. If your temperatures, I mean like a temperature, yeah, if your temperatures or ambient temperatures are way up there, yeah. Well, the, CV, this AIO is actually doing a good job and for just gaming. So let's go test it now. Let's test it for gaming. It's, this is gonna be kind of hard because I wish we were mul doing Multimon. Okay, so right now we're also running eight to 64 and this is the max it's gonna get. Like it's soaked at this point in time, running for 15 minutes and we're seeing a slight, we're seeing some slight thermal throttling. Okay, and then we'll watch those temps drop like a madman. Hmm. Okay. There's your core clocks dropping. 
So that's max at 44, 45.14. Okay, get this ready. I'm gonna bring the overlay up. I forgot what the overlay is for this one. Oops, settings. There it is, overlay. We want, I care about CPU, GPU, size will do large. Opacity, I want it 25% and then control O, okay. Okay, I'm gonna automatically show it when I launch a game. Okay. Okay, here we go. Hey everyone, feels great to have you back. Well, why is the overlay not working? Trying to run our overlay here. I don't know why our overlay is not working. We're trying to get the overlay up, guys, real quick. Hold on, I'm just trying to try and see in terms of what temps are like when gaming because this is about the worst case. This is at ultra, we'll set all the things to ultra. We'll turn DLSS off. We're on ray tracing ultra. We'll turn DLSS off. Okay, now. So now this is worst case. I wish we could let Cam do its thing, but the overlay is not working, which sucks. Oh, maybe it's, maybe I can do this. something that okay hold on let me see if I can get the it's one of the things it's like sometimes where I'd love to get cam to actually do what it needs to do whoa, whoa, whoa what is this doing no 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 what are you doing no why is cam what wait what happened to cam no I don't know, <laughs> all, of our, all, of our all of our cooling and stuff is not, okay, it's all good, okay. Okay, so that's all good. We're still sitting at 59, but I'm trying to get, I wanna see, I wanna see. This is not running the way I want it to, and I can't, and I don't think it, I. Uh, uh. And the problem is, is that I don't have another, I wish I could do temperature, but it doesn't have anything like that on Windows G. And the overlay for this is not working.
Does anybody know another overlay that we could do? Yeah. Alt R? Alt. It do, I mean, it doesn't, I mean, even guys, come on, even with this thing sitting at 20 something percent, re, uh, you know, resolution, like all in all, we have another, we're still sitting in the 50s. No, I was trying to do, I was trying to do, I was trying to do um, NZXTs, but NZXTs isn't showing up. Yeah, I could do, yeah, let's do, let's ins the, let's do, if you, all I have to do is install the uh, EVGA, uh, the EVGA game bar. Bear with me, guys, because I want to see what temps are. Okay, now we have that for Windows for the game bar. Okay, so we hit Windows G. Now we can add... Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. There it is. That's GPU temp. Can I change this to CPU? That's all, oh, CPU, well, I got CPU utilization. Okay, that's all GPU stuff. It's not CPU. Which, I mean, you guys are seeing that the GPU is sitting at... It's sitting at 61. Which, I mean, that's gonna cover a lot of the screen, but. So GPU temps are great, look at that. 62 at 100% utilization in, which this used to be a big problem, at least in the NZXT H1 for sure. Which is great, but I, I want to do, I want the, I want the, gosh darn it, I wish the overlay freaking worked. Come on, Cam. Yeah. Our temp is sitting great, but I don't wanna, I wanna, I wish there was a way to pop an overlay on this. If I had a second screen, I could have just popped it over on the side, but I don't have that on here. <clears throat> MSI Afterburner just, MSI Afterburner just records. The NZXT mini mode. Okay, let me try that. This right here, right? There it is. Okay, there we go. Hey, there we go. Oh, no, it went away. Dang it. See, it doesn't stay up there. That was, that's what I was looking for right there, which was this, but it's not staying. Yeah, it's, it's I mean, it's 58%, it's 58 degrees, right? So the game's still running. And we're not having any issues with that. I don't think, I don't think, does MSI Afterburner have an overlay? I don't think it did. Gotta click the always on top setting. Okay, let me see if I. Where is the always on top setting?
Okay, I'll try. I'll, let me try. Okay, I'll do MSI afterburner. Hold on. Oh, hey, it's oh, it's working. Oh, well, it was. Oh, never mind. Okay, let's do MSI afterburner. Hold on. Uh, let, Kevin's got it. Let me go grab it real quick. Thanks, guys. We're gonna. This is always the fun part. Doing this together. Hey, Kevin. Can I get uh, your performance stuff, or is it running? Oh, it's running. I need MSI afterburner. I can just download it off the site. Yeah, find the right one. They just released it. Okay. Should just be on their site though, right? That doesn't help me. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry guys, he's in the middle of running uh, A to 64 testing on the 011 Mini Air. So, okay, let's find it here. MSI afterburner. This is off MSI site. Okay, good. I just want to make sure. Okay. Oops. Okay. You guys are watching the fun. Oh, sorry, I was downloading it. I thought you guys were getting to see what I was doing. Waiting for the install. Be sure to set monitoring and OSC in the setting of afterburner. OSD, okay. <laughs> this is fun to, yeah, it is. Yeah, I don't, I don't have the, I don't have the GeForce Now installed, just the, just the OS. I mean, just the, the driver. Then you have to sign into a GeForce account and all that sort of stuff, yeah. So in the GeForce experience, yeah. So it's just a lot of headache to get that working. This is this is a little bit less. I, it has a little bit less overhead too. Okay, here we go. Okay, so let's go to settings, monitoring. Show on screen display. So we want CPU usage, CPU. Okay, we can show the GPU temperature and on screen. Let's do. They have CPU package temperature. Let's do that one. Show an on screen display. We'll show CPU usage on screen display. And then we'll show GPU usage, there we go. Fly. <clears throat> so where do I, how do I turn on the, is it? No, that's a detach. Where do you turn on on screen display? This doesn't just run. Oh, there it is. Yeah, okay, there it is. Okay, so you can actually see that in the top left. So we're at 62 in 72 in CPU and 71. There you go. Now you can actually see it. It's not very big, but it is there. Ow. I just died.
There we go. So there you go, look at that, 62, 68, 61. So in other words, and the other two is noise wise. I mean, dude, this thing is definitely putting off heat, but it, like that's kind of more what I expected from a, from a temperature standpoint in terms of gaming. <laughs> that was great, everybody's really happy. <laughs> yeah, both temps are actually are fine. I mean, again, GPU, CPU's de definitely popping up there, but in terms of, from a gaming standpoint, I mean, we were playing Cyberpunk, max res, full at 1080p with like everything, right? And you're like, look at your temps are fine. Yeah. So. Any other thoughts, guys? Uh, because we're still gonna run through deals. Um, yeah, the GPU temp's great. And again, your frames, oh, I could have put frames on. Sorry, let's, uh, that's something I didn't do. Oops. So we can show what we're actually getting. here, right? On screen display. Where did I, wait, I was just here. Where did I, did I miss something? Like, am I just on crack? No. I was literally just setting this here in just a second. Oh, monitoring, sorry, that's what I was looking for. Okay, so let's do frames. Did we get frames? Frame rate. Can I not set this? Oh yeah. There we go. Okay, so let's load the last checkpoint so you can see what our frame rate is. So this is a 12700K with a 3070. With DLSS not on. So again, 50, like again, 57, 58. This is not, this is like raw power DLSS 12700K. So we're getting, you're not quite getting 60. I mean, this is one of the things though, but check this out. Like, here we go, go to settings. Let's go to graphics. This is what I do, let's just do it at auto. Look at that, 80, 90. Now you are gonna see CPU jump a bit because you're gonna use more CPU, obviously. Now we're getting 80 frames per second in high, Cyberpunk at Ultra. me though so there it is <clears throat> guys I was just showing the I'm just trying to get that this is why this is what I came 
Okay, so let's, and it's not throttling right now. Okay, you guys want to say, okay, so let's go to load last checkpoint and then we'll run, we'll run 1440p. That's going to be less of a load on the CPU, obviously. So settings, graphics, let's go to, uh, da, da, da. Where is my, oh, there it is, video. V-Sync off. I don't know, actually, I mean, I'm not, this, sometimes this will work and sometimes it will. No, it won't. No, I can't get 1440 because, oh, actually, hold on, let me see if I can. Sometimes this monitor will go above 1440. I'm not running on a normal one, hold on. Okay, let me get out of this. This is one of those small, I got 19, can I do, uh, it doesn't do it. Uh, I'd have to go get a new monitor. And I'm not, that's, that's a lot of things. Um, okay, uh, any other questions? So again, we showed, what did we do today? We basically fully built an NZXT H1 V2. Uh, we definitely stress tested it. We saw that we were running 100% utilization. We definitely saw some thermal throttling of the 12700K, but when we did gaming, uh, we didn't see any other options, right? We didn't see any issues whatsoever. Again, it was keeping it in the 60s and 70s. Uh, for uh, for gaming, which was completely fine. You could do that all day with 140 millimeter AIO. Uh, we, we did it with basically, you know, testing it with one of the most uh, most intense games you can right now. This is a 1080p. Well, it's actually not a 1080p monitor. It's a, it's a different kind of monitor connected to another monitor. My system's complicated, so that's what it was. Uh, yeah. So, uh, use DSR and NVIDIA control if you want. Roby aims like, thanks, dude. I appreciate it. So, <clears throat> will it survive launching New World? Nothing would survive launching New World. Isn't that game, didn't they cancel that game already? Just kidding. Um, any other questions, guys, or other stuff? We're gonna go through deals here in a minute. We still got giveaways. By the way, Hype Train has just unlocked. So Hype Train's just unlocked, so let's we can get the last Hype Train, uh, finish that out. So it's gonna be just at a two hour show, unless there was something that you guys uh, feel like I didn't show. Uh, but all in all, way better than, uh, GPU temp's crazy good. Uh, way better than what we saw in the NZXT H1 V1. And CPU stuff, pretty good, right? Like CPU. Again, uh, I don't know if I would go any higher than a 12700K. 12600K might be okay. Uh, definitely, uh, it'd be interesting running a 5900X. And this would be an interesting uh, an interesting comparison. But even a 12700K, from a gaming standpoint, is going to run better than a 5900X. He didn't show us the Aggie Award. It's just sitting back there all the time. <clears throat> Can you disassemble and start over? <laughs> yeah, so the 011 Mini Air is sitting in the other room. And that one is like, that one's basically going through its beastliness right now. Uh, by the way, the uh, just so you guys know, we run a 12700K with a 3080 Ti in that. Uh, and that, that 12700K is currently sitting under load for an hour, was sitting in the 60s. So yeah, that's uh, and that's with an air cooler. So yeah. Oh, guys, we still need 200 likes on YouTube, and we need to unlock that last giveaway as well. We want Tom on camera. No, he's not back here. So anyway, would it be better to run NVIDIA GPU or an AMD GPU? Uh, it depends on the games you want to play. Like, if you want to play, like, uh, a lot of the newer games are still optimized for NVIDIA. Uh, FSR is coming along, right? Like, so I, I have an AMD portable system that I really like. It's using an APU, um, and I'm really impressed with the gameplay. I still recommend NVIDIA. NVIDIA's drivers still seem to be better, though AMD just released a new set. Um, but, uh, and the only two is DLSS is, set, DLSS is still a game, plan, game changer. Yeah. Let's, let's rebuild it. Did Valve send you a Steam Deck? No, we don't have a Steam Deck yet. I'm not, I'm a big, I'm a, I'm a fairly good sized YouTuber and streamer, but I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not, I still don't have a million plus people yet. Again, with feeling. The low probably beats it attempt, but loses out for price point, not to mention cooler ITX guesses at a, at 
less the price. Yeah, the, the Loak, uh, so I like the Loak, but the problem is, is that the Loak is, uh, when you, I mean, it's funny, because Harbor Canucks compared this to, uh, when, we, when you take away all the stuff this comes with, the case is actually about 99 bucks. Um, not include, because if you take away the AIO, you take away the, the, the riser cable, which, I mean, it includes that's 129. Uh, so it'd be like, but with a nice PCIe Gen 4 uh, razor, uh, riser cable, but if you take away the PSU and the AIO, um, then it comes, the case comes to about 99 bucks, yeah. But it's, it's you can't buy it without that stuff, so. <clears throat> yeah, Viking Monkey, you gotta look at the games you wanna play. If they're NVIDIA optimized, and get NVIDIA. If they're AMD optimized, get AMD. Yeah, I know, Yawning. I, I, so what I have is I have the 1X player and I have the other ones and I have the 1X player mini coming. So I have, I do have hardware like that coming. It's just, I'm not on Steam's list. Um, I haven't used the Ghost Raw one. I haven't used that one, 90907. Can you show how, show how the cables sit when the case is upright? Well, I could pop it open, yeah, for sure. Oh, you mean the cables underneath? Oh yeah, I mean, the cables underneath are like this. I mean, there's plenty of room underneath. You're talking about those cables. That makes a lot more sense. I was like, why? I wonder why he's asking that. But you actually have a lot of depth here and I'm starving my GPU right now, but. But yeah, there's actually quite a bit of room underneath for the cables. So, yeah. So here, I'll do this. There you go. And then we'll turn it over. So we'll go to top down so you can see. And so HDMI, I mean, we have a big thick boy HDMI cable. I wonder if you can see this. Is it, can you see that? Oh, nope, top down is off for some reason. Hold on. Oh, great, our top down shut off. Hold on one sec, guys, I gotta fix that. This is always the thing is like, the this camera's been on a long time. There we go. There you go. So there's your, there's your cables. And as you can see, there's actually a pretty big gap here for where the cables sit. And then, like I said, lots of room. So there's no issues in terms of cables hitting anything. Uh, Corsair 5000D, uh, the... Uh, the Fractal Torrent, uh, the uh, Fantex P500A, any of those would do really well with a, with a 12900K and a 360 millimeter AIO. This one will fit a three GPU. We've got a three, we, got a, we essentially have a two and a half slot GPU in here right now and it fits just fine. Yeah, 12900K will fit in a 5000D no, with, a, with a great AIO, no problem. Yeah. I always clean the glass well, so there you go. Oh, now you can see. So it seems like the best way to do it is like this way. Will you be testing more ITXC in the near future? Yes, we are. We have quite a few ITX cases coming up. So yes, there are more. I can't tell you what they are, but they are coming. Okay guys, we are at, let's get this last level five hype train uh, going so we can unlock the, uh, so we can unlock this last giveaway. We still have a couple more hundred likes to get on the YouTube stream as well. Um, they did a great job. Yeah, I, I agree, Yawning. They did a good job. And we need 150 more likes over on the YouTube. So let's get that stuff done. Then we'll do deals and then we'll do giveaways Right now we don't have any, we haven't activated anything except for the $50 new A gift card give, giveaway. So let's get these, let's get this hype train going. So uh, also don't forget, we have an RTX 3080 we're giving away for the month of February. If you want to get on that, 
just drop your free Prime subscription. Uh, in fact, the person who won a 3080 Ti in July won off of a single Prime sub. Now, if you've been gifted a sub from so many individuals, you can do things like drop your Prime sub to double your chances because you can get extra entries by gifting subs. Gifting subs gets you extra entries. Uh, you can also do things like uh, subscribe to tier two. That gets you five extra entries and tier three gets you 10. So yeah. Hey, Koala, thank you for the 100 bits. And then again, yeah, if we get we, we, if we get to 100, then we'll give away a $100 new gift card and stuff like that as well. Hitting those likes, guys. And don't forget, at the very end of the show, we'll also be giving away a, if you do a, drop a quality comment, uh, as long as you don't, I have a free PC or blah, blah, you know, I am awesome or anything like that. Uh, you have a chance of winning $25. Uh, all you have to do is be accept, able to accept Venmo or PayPal. Uh, just leave a good comment and we have to have a way to reach you in your YouTube, uh, in your YouTube, uh, uh, your YouTube um, uh, profile. Um, and then also you have to like and subscribe. Thank you very much, Daily Biz. Appreciate that. Oh, thanks. I glo I'm glad you like it. This is the NZXT H1 V2, by the way. This is not just the standard H1. This is their new one. Yeah, thanks, AE. Okay, well, there we go. Take me down. Take him down, Expo, giving out one gifted sub. We got some Yawning Salmon dropping 200 bits. Let's finish this out, guys. We can do it. Uh, SF, SFP, you got to pay the rest of the bill. I can't do anything else until I can buy the rest of the parts. But I have the, the, the GPU comes on Thursday. And then we can order the rest of the parts. Okay, guys, we'll give it a couple more minutes, another five minutes. If we don't hit it, then we'll just do deals and call it good. And then we'll just have to, we'll have to only do the one giveaway. Not yet. He, he's paid for part of it. He just, he's waiting for Venmo to let him send more money. <laughs> oh no, Pran, I'm good. <laughs> some of them are, some of them aren't, yes. Yeah, he's, he's just waiting for Venmo. Yeah, Creamy Thick had the same thing. Yeah, it's a smaller audience today. It'll be at the beginning of March. Igor giving out one gifted sub. We're one thing away from hitting, uh, there it is, Hype Train close. Two minutes left and then we'll hit Hype Train. Two minutes, guys. One more, and then we hit there. Igor doing it again, and I think he unlocks the he unlocks the there it is. Hype train, commander, commander AK free. Then we got Vicar of Mayhem, the doubter who was joking. We know he was joking. Has done it there. Okay, guys, if we get to level five, then we'll unlock that second thing, and we'll we'll go from there. Don't forget to hit likes over on the YouTube as well. We'll finish this out. It was a good stream. It was just a, it was just short and it's not usual. People I think like it more when we just do building. I mean, this is always different and every time you do different, it's not necessarily uh, as, uh, hey, e -Corp. man, he's on fire today. Uh, people are just not, they, they like what they like, you know what I mean? And people like the builds. That's why they come. So a lot of times. So uh, while we're here, I could talk a little bit about uh, the rest of the week. Um, so the next stream will uh, looks to be on Saturday, and that's with the fine folks at uh, at Height. Um, so we're going to be doing something with the Y60. Um, so that'll be code Red Dragon. Thank you for the thousand bits. So we'll be doing something with the Y60 on Saturday. So you want to tune in for that. Um, and then uh, I think we might be doing another God. Thank you very much, God Clanibus. Thank you very much for the five gifted subs. Um, and then we got a thousand dollar step by step build with. So it's a it's a step-by-step -step guide how to do every single step 
in depth. That releases on Thursday, along with another PC giveaway. Um, there's also a uh, the review of the uh, a really nice, inexpensive, a thousand thousand dollar graphics. Uh, sorry, laptop that's coming out. So we have some really great videos that are also releasing over the next couple days as well. And we will have a we will have a uh, full review of this as well, but we always build it live when you guys like to see that stuff. So ever thought about playing with your community? Creamy Thick, I play with you guys all the time. I play you. I'm just kidding. Uh, we have done that stuff before. My H1 Mini just came today. Congratulations, Quill. This is the new H1, this is the new H1 V2 though. Uh, Membraca, we have a really great one for a thousand eight for basically eight hundred dollars, and then you can do some upgrades to basically increase performance tremendously, uh, getting it up to just shove a thousand bucks. Okay, guys, hype train level four, three minutes and fifty seven seconds left. How are our lights on YouTube? Are we gonna hit it all? That'd be awesome. This build, this was fun. I learned some stuff too, like overlays. I, 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 you know, that's the thing is anytime you do this live, like there's the, you see some of the stuff we do on YouTube live when we do these, cause it's like, oh, this isn't working or hey, this isn't what, doing what we want to do. And sometimes you're just like, oh, I wasn't prepared for whatever this is. So I appreciate you guys working with me. Sometimes I, I also just don't know the answers to everything, right? Stody, thank you very much for the gifted sub. We're almost to level, f uh, almost on our way to level five. Uh, do you know when the H1 V2 will be available? Uh, you can pre-order it now. Uh, it should shop. It should ship sometime in late February. Plus, you guys just you guys got mad when I just went on a rampage on on Cyberpunk. Guys, 398 of 500. We're super close on that on the YouTube goal. Yeah, this is a great case. Uh, you know, just things to be considered about. It's obviously things that are more CPU taxing. Be aware of the cooling in here. Thanks, Opinion. What's your favorite keyboard brand? Well, I've got a couple that I've been building that I really like. Um, I like the stuff that I've been doing from Glorious, um, but uh, I've been playing a lot more with Razer and Corsair, so between those two have kind of been my, my go-tos. Two minutes left, guys, almost to level five in terms of getting to fin finish this out. Igor dropping it. Man, Igor's helping us out big time today. Thank you, Igor. You are the man. And don't forget, we also have February 15th, uh, we also have the Corsair stream. I'm gonna be doing it with Trisha Hirschberger. So we got some good, we got Mod Monday, Monday. Tuesday, we got Corsair stream. Uh, I'm in San Francisco starting tomorrow, so I'll be gone tomorrow and Thursday. Uh, and then I don't know if there'll be a stream on Friday or not. Just depends on when I come back. I'm, I, I, oh, also I will be on Artesian Builds uh, stream uh, either Wednesday or Thursday. So pay attention to that. They'll probably announce that. I'll just show up and be uh, hanging out with Artesium. Okay, over 400 guys. Trish is awesome, yeah. Okay, last bit. Igor has done his bit. He's done so much for you guys. And then we've got God Clan Clanibus. Thank you very much for his gifted subs. We're the last four minutes. We're almost there. Uh, for the hype train. Nobody wants to 1v1 me? That's because if we 1v1, well, no. That's only if we're on the same team. Then Blondie shoots me. Igor is 100p. Yeah, he is. God, Clannabis going up, stepping up, taking it in there. Three minutes and 40 seconds left. We're at 49%. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Cannabis, Clannabis. It's weird to call you just God. Noise. Red Dragon dropping five, Igor still dropping five, and there, just like that, there it is. We got through it, zero, like, no issue. Okay, okay, so we got those. How close are we to those last? Okay, so let's do our deals, and then we'll do our giveaways. Because we just hit, the level five hype train's done. Let's get our deals. Let's, let's talk about deals real quick. Ugh, set this off to the side. I really am looking forward to the feedback on this one because I really want to know if there's things we can do on these streams to make them more entertaining besides killing a lot of people. I was in a Gia, but no, it was supposed to be two weeks ago and then I couldn't, I couldn't make it work um, with, uh, with the other stuff I was working on. Let me shut this down. I have a lot of, I have a lot of partner stuff. Oh, Evo, thank you very much, man. Appreciate it. 
Wolf Fighter, thank you very much as well. Deals, let's see what we got. I think we got some good ones today. Okay, so let me pull this. And I need this. Okay, I've never ended on deals. We've always like, before we turn on the PC, done deals. But today we're gonna do deals and we're gonna do giveaways. Give you guys a little bit more time to hit that thumb up button on YouTubes. That was fun, that was a fun build. Chance Player, thank you very much for Prime. Two months, man. Happy two month anniversary. Well, hopefully soon, Jack. Oculus, one, one kilo, one kilo, zero kilo, one kilo. Thank you for the sub. We're now 11 away from a $100 new A gift card. Oh, I'm glad, A.E. Elliot. That means a lot. So, M. Braca, this is, this is the V2 that just got announced today. So it's different than the one, and the riser cable issues have been fixed. So this is different than the V1. This is the new V2. Let's turn it again. Okay. 439. TSI Monton, Master Tech, Kilt Man. Wow, it's like everybody just showed up. It's just like, there you guys. Thanks, guys. And there's Hype Train, taking it to 92. Okay, uh, no, it's not a space heater, it's a brand new case. Have you thought about doing different builds on stream for various things, for example, mining rig? I don't think I'll ever do a mining rig. Uh, software production, uh, we've, done, we've, we've done some videos around that, but I've never, Forsaken Ogre, we've actually done some of that stuff with commissions. So people from commissions saying like, hey, I want a build for this or a build for that. So yeah, sometimes we actually do things like that, which is always not a, uh, a good option. I mean, which is always a good option. And there's God dropping, God Clannibus dropping another five gifted subs. Okay, guys. Well, we are at 101 now, and that takes us to the next tier. Okay, let's start this. Let's talk about deals, though, because that's what everybody's here for. I don't even think... Like, I don't even know if I matter anymore. It's just all about Tom and his deals. Well, duh. Okay, thank you for the, the sub. Okay, so uh, robitechdeals.com. If you guys are ever looking for GPU availability, uh, cheap prices on computer tech, televisions. By the way, televisions, I realized yesterday, wasn't thinking about this, so I was talking about the OLEDs and stuff. That's because uh, Samsung and LG have made things on sale because Saturday, Sunday's a Super Bowl. So Super TVs are a really uh, cheap thing to get right now. So that's why I saw those crazy deals. Like, why are these deals happening on TVs? Uh, duh, Super Bowl. So anyway, uh, yeah, oh, duh. Yeah, the same thing I thought. I was like, oh yeah, I forgot about that. TVs, uh, specifically those TVs, uh, really high-end TVs have come down. So you can watch the Super Bowl in style and watch the Cincinnati Bengals do walk like an Egyptian and then beat the LA or St. Louis Rams. I heard, I heard, uh, I heard uh, Warner, uh, basically, uh, yeah, it's gonna be great. Um, okay, uh, known as the big game. Okay, so anyway, uh, back to this. Uh, if you're ever looking for any of those things, this is a great site to just kind of have on bookmark because Tom's basically always looking for deals. Now, I did want to announce as well, 
Uh, we did get another shipment of the Robitech mats in, and because obviously every time we get a shipment in, things get a little less expensive, we are doing a Valentine's Day sale on our build mats. So they're 14% off, meaning you can pick up one of these build mats for $86 right now. Um, so that sale is gonna be happening until February 14th. So if you were like trying to pull the trigger, but you didn't wanna spend hundred bucks, um, the price is gonna be going down by 10 bucks. So there'll be 90 moving forward, but they're 84. They are not signed. The only the first ones that went out got signed. Um, and so uh, those are the ones that go in there. So it's a Roby Love sale. And so if you wanted to pick up a Roby Tech build map, those are on sale uh, till the 14th for uh, $86. And then they'll go to the regular price of 90 um, uh, moving forward and we're going to try and Madden said the Bengals yeah because they walk because they walk like an Egyptian um so yeah so anyway those are just to, yeah a lot of people have the mats a lot of people are really happy about them so anyway those are those are going on there and th that sale is happening right now uh the other thing that's on here is uh we also now have our schedule so if you're ever curious about hey when does Roby stream that's on here uh, the link to our store, which I was just talking about. There it is right there. The Robitech build mats on sale right now, 14% off uh, until uh, 2-14-2022. Um, so there's our build mats, which you can pick up now. And then of course, we also have our other merch um, that has come down way down in price as well. So any one of those options, if you wanna do that. Uh, the other thing too, is if you're ever shopping at Amazon, Newegg or, you, or uh, Best Buy, pop over here first. It doesn't cost you anything, but it does go a long way towards helping us. Um, so if you're, before you go shopping, click on this link. It doesn't, it, like you said, it'll take you to the site and then you can basically do your shopping uh, and it goes to support us a little bit. Uh, also on here is the at Roby Tech, uh, at Roby Tech Twitter account. If you're ever, if you just, you don't want to follow the website, you can always follow the, uh, you can always follow the, uh, the Twitter, those are updated way more frequently um, with a lot more deals uh, than the site specifically. Uh, the site really is updated on stream days uh, for both the builds as well as um, also uh, the stream deals that we're gonna go through. So for instance, here right now, uh, the stream build that we built today, there's the NZXT H1, and here's all the components that we put inside of it. So if you're curious and you wanted to pick something like that up, you can go here and find any build, including the build that we did yesterday, which was the one from yesterday, um, as well as the last one that we did, which was in the uh, Height Revolt 3. So all of our parts are here at the cheapest price, uh, from when uh, during that stream. So if you're ever looking for a stream build and you wanna basically have a build that you liked and wanna replicate, all that stuff is stored here as well. And then lastly, which everybody is excited about, let's see what deals Tom has for us today. So starting at the beginning. Okay, so MSI GS series 15.6 inch. This is 144 Hertz IPS. This is an i5 with a 3050. These laptops, so these are 6, 6, 669. Let me just tell you, these laptops rock. I mean, these things will run 1080p Shadow of the Tomb Raider, 70 frames per second. Uh, Metro Exodus, uh, Metro Exodus with DLSS at 54. Uh, you'll run uh, Apex Legends at what, 125. You'll run Call of Duty at 73. You run Fortnite at one, what, 180, 190. Uh, for a less than $1,000, this is like $669. You're almost looking at a console in terms of this stuff because of the 3050. That is a heck of a price uh, for an MSI. And the only two is you can upgrade this to a, you, all you gotta do is add a second stick of RAM and add a one terabyte NVMe, which would take it up to $750. And that would be a crazy good laptop. Um, so if you're looking for an awesome laptop for really inexpensive, my son uses one of these. He absolutely loves it. Not an MSI, he uses an Asus. Uh, but that that is an awesome spec um, for uh, going from there. Uh, the Samsung Odyssey G5, this is their widescreen, 34 inch, uh, 1440, uh, 2K, one millisecond response time, HDR10. Uh, it also has FreeSync uh, as well. Uh, looks like it's on sale, 549.99 if you want something super wide. Uh, crucial one terabyte NVMe. Anytime I see a one terabyte NVMe for less than hundred bucks, that's a really good deal. This is $30 off, making it $89.99. The Wow Stick, Wow Stick. Everybody say Wow Stick. Everybody loves a Wow Stick. What's up, Slim Bo Sim Boxer, Blockers? Uh, wow Stick Mini Screwdriver. We use the larger version on the show all the time. Uh, if you're looking for something a little bit more precise, uh, it looks like this one's on $37.99 with a coupon clipped on Amazon. That's a really good price for that. Uh, WaveShare 7.9. Uh, so uh, we're gonna do, we're gonna add one of these in here. I saw, I, I don't know if you guys ha follow uh, Tech Tesseract or Brittany. Uh, they just did a, they were just showing this off. 
Um, this is a great little additional screen to add either below your monitor or into your case to do things like show your GPU temps, CPU temps using ADA 64. Um, uh, really, really good uh, just screen and it's nice and wide, which is actually pretty nice. Something you usually see is you'll see a lot of people do squares, but this one's uh, rectangular. And the other thing too is it's got a nice frame around it, which is actually pretty cool. So 97 bucks over on Amazon uh, if you wanna pick that up um, and add just a little bit of some flair to your case. Asus Tough Gaming, this is a 1440p, 165 hertz. This is, includes G-Sync and FreeSync and a 0.4 millisecond response time, 289.99. That is about the cheapest 1440p, 27 inch monitor I've seen that has those things. That's actually a really good price. Good job, Tom. Uh, Corsair LL series, these are their best performing RGB fans. Uh, they're 120 millimeters, so $94 right now uh, over on, uh, over on uh, Newegg. Uh, Fractal Design Celsius S36. This actually includes a fan hub on it. It's probably one of the easiest cable management AIOs that you can get right there. Also super low profile, and those fans are actually really good. Uh, $161.99 uh, over on Newegg. So that's actually a really good option, especially if you want to do something with like minimal RGB um, and a pretty kind of uh, light um, RGB uh, around the uh, pump header. Uh, Z690 Tai Chi, this is their highest end. Actually, I think those gears actually rotate on this board. So those gears you can actually make rotate via the BIOS if you want to. Um, it's currently on sale $90, so it's $499.99 and you can have rotatable gears. Well, there you go. Uh, my Z690A ATX motherboard with um, 5600 Oloy, finally making 5600 uh, megahertz uh, DDR5 uh, with XMP 3.0. So that's a whole kit uh, for 618 bucks. So that gets you a i5-12400, DDR5, wow, that's kind of overkill for a DD for that. And then you also get that um, MSI Pro Z690A Wi-Fi motherboard. The $1,000, G, I mean, I can, EVGA, awesome, 1,000 watt, awesome. If you're using a 3080, 3080 Ti build or even a 3090 build, well, say 3090, you want 1,200 watts. That's a great power supply for that. Samsung Odyssey G7, they're 28 inch. We use this thing all the time. Love this monitor. Uh, finally starting to get below 700 bucks. So this used to be 800, now it's been slow. It's been hovering north of 700. It's good to see it below 700. This is a fantastic monitor, probably one of the best 27 inch monitors uh, you can get. Still, it's starting to get dated, so I'm expecting a new model. And I think that's why the prices have been uh, kind of where they are. But that's it, that's it for deals. Uh, that's it for deals. I know, that's so, so a shadow. That's kind of the same thing. I was like, mm, I don't know, that seems like overkill. I don't know if I'd put DDR5 with a 12400 either. Like that's that's pretty overkill. Maybe you could sell the GP, CPU and upgrade to like a 12700K, something like that. Um, anything, yeah, I kind of had the same re reaction. I mean, it's a good bundle, 600 bucks, but it's like, yeah, the, 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 uh, the Y in there is the CPU. Do you think something better? I think no, because mini LED has been, is so brand new. Um, I don't think anything new is gonna come in there. Okay, uh, what did you guys think? Anything that caught your eye? Anything you saw, you're like, hey, good job, Tom. Did you think you suck, Tom? Like, which one did you guys think in terms of uh, the quality of today's, today's uh, deals? Everybody says nice work. PSU is a good one. The laptop is the, the laptop is a crazy, crazy price. Yeah, that laptop is really good. Uh, PSU was 129, right? Wasn't that what it was, uh, Tom? Uh, let me look, I got you right here. PSU for a thousand watts was 149. 149 for a thousand watts. That's a really good, yeah. Oh, Red Dragon, there he, see, that, that's why I love Red Dragon. He knows, he knows what the best deal was. The Matt. Yeah, Je that, that, that's a really good price. I mean, anytime those pop up, I got one of those for my son. We paid $649 for the Asus Tough F17. And it is, I cannot, I can't get over how awesome that laptop is. So if you really do need a laptop, a gaming slash productivity laptop, um, that is a heck of a price and you should jump on it if you're looking for something like that. Uh, Ralphie, or which one are you talking about? 
If you can't find it cheap, no one can. Yeah. So yeah, I think he, I think he did good. I think he did good today. Okay, guys, we're gonna start the giveaways in just a few seconds. We're at four. We need 33 more likes over on the YouTube. So let's see uh, how does he do it. Uh, I don't know. I think I, he just lives and breathes it. I think they come into him via ESPN. Yeah, the Asus monitor is, yes, I think that Asus monitor is going to be a good option for you, Ralphie. Uh, so we've tested the tough, we've tested those tough monitors before. We've had a couple of them gone through that have been pretty good. Just understand that you're, like, it's not, as long as you're not doing any hardcore graphics work, but for, like, uh, gaming, etc., that's going to be a great monitor. ESPN, not ESP. It's ESPN. When will the case be released? It's out today. You can pre-order it now. Uh, the, or, sorry, it's coming soon. Uh, they're expecting sometime in late February. J, JC2 fun. You have ESPN too? I thought so. How many likes do we have left, guys? We're gonna hit that last sum up and then we'll start our giveaways. We're getting really close to giveaways. Then we'll let you guys go. It'll be an early night. Yeah, no kidding, Stotty. That would be that would be crazy. I'd buy that. I'd buy that. I'd buy that that whole pair for that much money. Hey, thank you very much for the super chat, by the way. Yeah, they do. They come to Tom via ESPN. He gets them via ESPN from the outer world. They just come into his head via ESPN. That's why I read Espen Magazine. I mean, it's... A gigabyte. I mean, it's a gigabyte GPU. I mean, it's a 66. I have no issue with it. There it is. YouTube go read. Let's go. There you go. You guys did it. Okay. Let us. Yeah. House of Tom hasn't. Yeah. House of Tom isn't. He no. He's an AI. Okay. I will see you later then. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and do this giveaway. Uh, I don't think we're gonna, oh, we did, oh, and we hit $100. We hit 100 subs, so we got all that stuff. Okay, so first one, first giveaway is for 250 gig NVMe, exclamation point community, guys. Exclamation point community drawing two winners. Good job, YouTube and Twitch. You rocked it today. Starting that giveaway right now. The other thing too, so uh, I did wanna tell the story and I, we got it from Evo Cyber Nation. Um, we could, and this is also a real possibility, uh, and we've seen this on, a, on another B660 motherboard, um, is uh, adding washers to the, adding washers to the, uh, to the AIO. So we did that, so we were getting 80, 90 degree temps on our, 80 to 90 degree temps on our 011 Mini. Then we added the washers on the, Z, on the B660 board that's in there, and it dropped our temps by 30 degrees. So we were in, we, I mean, by 20 degrees. So we were sitting, instead of 80s and 90s, we were hitting 60s uh, on that. Because, and then when you looked at the pattern, the pattern was pretty clear. So we put clear plastic washers on there to raise the socket a bit, and it made all the difference in the cooling on that one. So I don't know if that's, that was an issue specifically with the tough B660. Uh, we could try, we may try the same thing here to see if we get a similar, so we'll pull the, we'll pull the AIO, see if the spread pattern looks good. If it doesn't, then we'll probably try that and it'll probably improve thermals inside of this case. Yeah, and exactly. So it's like we're what on that specific cooler, which was that's the Noctua DH, whatever the big one is called. I can't remember off the top of my head because it doesn't have a standard name. It made a massive difference. So it did. Okay, guys, we got 24 seconds left. I think I actually, it's funny. I don't actually know how thick they were because we grabbed ours from the, from an EK AIO. Uh, we, well, so it's like we got ours from our AIO that was included in our, in our EK, in the EK that comes with the EK water blocks. So. But it, it doesn't cost, I mean, getting little washers is not expensive. Like what? If you go to a hardware store, maybe a dollar? Maybe not even that much? Yeah, 16 cents, there you go.
Uh, YT Compass, I have a I have a modified uh, um, affiliate agreement. Yeah, I have nylon. We have nylon. We have the clear nylon ones. I would definitely suggest AIO for the Revolt 3 Woo Fighter. It depends on what you're doing with it, Smokey. Uh, not, it's not, it's not at a point where it's being used widely yet. Oh, there you go, Red Dragon. Okay, so I think our winners have been driven. It's Nishiki and Furger Burger. Oh, that's a great name, Furger Burger. Furger Burger and It's Nishiki cranking it today, uh, winning that 250 gig NVMe SSD. Congratulations, you guys. Okay, last giveaway for the show today. Uh, until the show goes off. And that, this is for a $100 new A gift card. Almost made 150, we're getting there. Okay, so here we go, custom. Okay, so this is for a $100 new A gift card, starting that right now. Okay, uh, so uh, just as an FYI, don't forget at the end when the stream goes off, you guys still can go leave a comment for a chance to win $25 uh, as well, so that's happening. Uh, so just pop on after the stream uh, and then uh, go uh, leave a comment. You just gotta make sure you like and subscribe over at youtube.com slash robitech. So make sure you like and subscribe and then you have to have a way for us to reach you on your YouTube profile. So we'll be, we'll be announcing the winners for that probably when I get back. Uh, it'll probably be early next week, sorry. So we'll probably do two weeks at the same time just because I'm not, I, I, I think the next stream is Saturday which is with height and then the one after that is Mod Monday. So we'll get it, we'll get the announce. And by the way, we only uh, we only tell winners via mess via um, email. So if you if you get a if you have somebody that says, "Hey, congratulations, you won on a YouTube comment," that's a scam. So don't believe that. That's a scam. It's a scam. Everybody say with me, "It's a scam." Scam. Putting all our stuff away, repairing. Whoops. It's a trap. Everybody's still saying it. Congratulations to Drunk Woody. I guess two minutes went by and I wouldn't even pay attention. Congratulations, Drunk Woody. You are the winner of a $100 new gift card. Okay guys, well that is it for today's show. A little bit shorter than normal, which is great. I hope you guys had fun. I hope everybody enjoyed the show. Uh, big shout out to NZXT for sending us the, uh, H, uh, the H1V2. Uh, also, big shout out to all of you guys helping me with, uh, you know, the little bit of troubleshooting and stuff that we did once we got into the build and we're doing all of our, uh, dueling all of our benchmarking. I am super excited to see you guys on Saturday. Uh, that's it for this week in terms of stream. So we'll see you guys on Saturday. Uh, outside of that, have a great time. Make sure you leave a comment afterwards. Make sure you like and subscribe on YouTube. Also follow on Twitch. Uh, and we look forward to seeing you guys on the next episode. Anyway, guys, we will see you later. Bye.